Hello and welcome back. We are talking today about a early stage Evital uh, company. Uh, this is Horizon Aircraft or HOVR. Uh, interesting company and this comes to us as a special request. So thank you for bringing it to our attention yet again. Uh, so hey, early stage Evital company Horizon Aircraft. It's actually been around for quite a few years. This is a father and son team. Uh, Brian and Brandon Robinson, who created this idea back in 2013. What's unique here is that this is a hybrid powered vehicle. So it's got the Evital, the electric lift and then landing, but then they've also mastered the, the forward thrust into, into transition into flight, which then uses traditional uh, fuel for, for airplanes and a propeller. Uh, it's, this is another good concept. And I don't think this is a winner take all battle in this space is that there's a lot of room to, at the table for a lot of uh, disruptor firms and technology to, to come on in and, and, and provide great, uh, great components and, and parts for this. So they've got this Cavaret X7, which is kind of a regal name for, for a uh, kind of this hybrid Evital jet that they, that they have. Uh, it's supposed to be a seven seater that six passengers, including the pilot. And again, electric takeoff and landing and then use fuel for the, for the distance. So this goes a little bit further, it goes a little bit faster than some of the com competitors such as Archer and Joby. Again, there's a place for a lot of these, these companies, but this is an interesting one. And why? Because it's such a small market cap, uh, but this is not for everyone. This is a very speculative company. There, uh, there's not quite yet a proof of concept that this, that this works at a full-sized level or with passengers. Uh, so until that, that point in time, buyer beware. However, as we know, is that those investors that do get in early uh, can have monstrous profits in these type of companies. We'll get more to that in just a little bit. Uh, so what's, what's interesting here is that they're making progress. There's a, they've had this transition to flight uh, with, with uh, smaller prototypes. Now they are building out the kind of their full size uh, vehicle now and working towards that full certification in Canada, which is a Canadian company in 2028. So there is a timeline horizon. Uh, internal ownership is interesting as well. 9.4% is owned by the insiders here. And this was this has come to market back in January of 2024 via a SPAC. So lots going on here with this company. We'll need to take a little bit look into the fundamentals and see but there's always opportunity and there's a lot of things going on here with what this can be used for. Horizon aircraft, which has that special wing design, which increases the durability of the craft and, and allows this craft to, to have that hybrid up approach and go further and faster than a traditional all electric Evital. Uh, so this should have implications for uh, emergency service use because it's a little bit more durable and, and quicker. Uh, it'll have military, it'll have city uh, transportation uh, Im impacts, disaster medical type type needs, and it'll come at us a little bit less expensive than a traditional helicopter. So this is all very interesting. The market cap of this company, about $30 million. So you've got designs, you've got small prototypes, you're going into a larger or a more full-scale prototype that's, that's being developed right now. You've got a, a pathway to get there, although nothing's assured, but for a company that's worth about $30 million right now and trading at 97 cents or so a share with a range of 24 cents to $1.63 in the past 52 weeks, it's down 18% for the year, uh, for the year to date. It's up a little, about 9% over the past year, but since its inception or it's, uh, since it's gone IPO, down about 90%. So it's been thrown away with a lot of the others, but it's hung around and they just had another successful cash raise uh, just in December and January to put, to put some, some more energy back into the completion of the, of, the, of, the, of the models here. They also brought on a kind of an advisor, a Rolls-Royce propulsion expert, and this is Rolls-Royce engines, of course, that power a lot of uh, super aircraft. Uh, this is an interesting step because step, this will enable them to to uh, have stronger designs and more pr proof of concept to make this idea work of theirs. 
So I guess all things considered, the balance sheet has cash, almost negligible debt, no revenue. This is a pre-revenue company. But if you like the Evital space, and it really is a, an innovation uh, area, uh, it's a disruptor technology, and in Horizon Aircraft, small, but the small can be quite mighty, as, as we know. This could be an interesting one if, you, if you're not risk averse, and if you're okay with being patient and, and seeing how this plays out, this could be the speculative bet for you. Analysts are calling for upwards of $1.25 a share, so a little bit of upside right now, but if this clicks and things really start to move, uh, this is where millionaires can, can easily be made by having larger stakes and larger proportions. As for me, I've got a small piece of this one, and I'll keep watching it, and we'll keep providing updates and seeing where we go with it. But for now, be aware of it. Do a little due diligence. It's inexpensive. Uh, they're trying to prove out their design in a full-scale version, and there's lots of interesting things that, that appear to be happening. So take a look. See, see what you want to do, and drop me a line below and tell me what you're doing. I'd uh, love to hear about it. Hope you find this helpful, and we'll talk again soon.